destiny my destiny has enjoyed every destiny my future has enjoyed i return praise to you i return glory to you you that faithful god that have not left me without a witness that i've always supplied that i've always made a way that i've always sent help to me lift up your voice you have not been stranded you have not been limited you have not been kept where the enemy wants you to lie lift up your voice and bless this good god father we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful we say thank you we thank you for every blessings we have received in life in destiny as individuals as a family as a church our lives our future has flourished because of the blessing our career our career our family have flourished because of the blessing jesus i am grateful for all you have done for all of your favors for all of the progress for all of the provisions for all the helpers you have sent into my life i give you praise i give you praise for every progress recorded lord we thank you for your lifting hand moving me forward moving my life forward moving my destiny forward moving my family forward moving my career forward lord i thank you for advancing your plans and purpose in my life for advancing your plans and purpose in my destiny for advancing your plans and purpose in my destiny lift up your voice and glorify god thank him be conscious of what he has done you are not where you used to be you are not where you used to be you have made progress you are already going forward things are already changing for you doors are opening for you help is coming your way your life is flourishing your destiny is blossoming lift up your voice and glorify this good god father we say thank you for the heavens that are opening again for the heavens that are opening afresh i am grateful to you lord in jesus mighty name we are prayed wherever you are in destiny now is the least place you will ever be whatever you have now is the least you will ever have i speak with prophetic grace and authority you will go forward your family will go forward your career will go forward your destiny will flourish you will yet make progress that will make you shed tears of joy if you are saying amen make it better so shall it be in jesus name we pray let the redeemer of the lord say so Congratulations, please get seated. Programming your destiny for the blessings. I'd like us to recall our mind to the saints of Papa, which is a wise statement that nobody must forget. You are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. In case you forget any part of the message, don't forget this one. You are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. Your spiritual life, your family life, your career life, your financial life, you are responsible. There is no one here that has an inferior destiny or a small destiny what scripture say concerning me and you this child shall be great in the sight of the lord so everybody that i'm seeing here now has a ticket of greatness you are not even saying amen as if you are sure but for this greatness to become a reality it requires you say with me me programming your destiny 
with the blessings. If you don't program your destiny with the blessings, you will live a small life. You will live a pitiable life. You will live a sorrowful life. You will live a life full of regret. You will live a life as if you are cheated. That God is not fair to you. But don't forget, you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. Your background, your place of birth is not a limitation for the outcome of your future or your destiny. If they like, let them give back to you in do. Or they give back to you in hyper. It's not a limitation. Are you don't say now? It's not a limitation. God is the ultimate programmer. By giving you an awesome destiny. Hear me? Knowing your roots gives you an insight of what your fruits look like. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Now, an image has been formed. Before you were born, I knew thee. Before you were formed, I consecrated thee. And I ordained thee for this purpose. So by predestination, you were already programmed long for an enviable life. You are programmed long for a satisfied life. You are long prolonged pro programmed for a progressive life. A successful life. Oh, I like the way Pastor Ebiome puts it. He says succeeding in successions. You succeeded last year, you are succeeding again this year. Amen. Succeeding in successions. Progressing in progressions. Everything that is needed for my life to amount to greatness has already been programmed. Thanks be to God, our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all manner of spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. So the programming that God has set is what determines the opportunity my destiny we see. It's already been programmed, but should I tell you something? God has programmed it. He has set it. Now you define it. Everyone in life and destiny defines the pattern that his life will run. Everyone defines. So, if you are void of the word, even though your destiny has been programmed for the blessings, you may live without the blessings. You may live your life according to the wish of men. Hear me? What people say is wish. What people utter is wish. But what you say is final. I want us to understand 
that the blessing is a prophecy into my future, into my destiny. But my destiny never assess them until it is declared, until it is believed, until it is enforced. God has set his will, God has set his promises, but you must contend for your faith to deliver the blessings. You must contend for the faith. You contend in prayer. You contend in declaration. So when you are programmed for something, you already have a design. But that design will not work until your involvement. Likewise, the kingdom of darkness also operates a program against your destiny. What many people are experiencing is the programming of the wicked. That's why you are not going forward. That's why you are not seeing what you are supposed to see. But hear me, you still have the final say. I say you still have the final say. Your understanding of the blessings program has an influence of not just your attitude but your utterance. The psalmist said that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. So with your mouth you can design your destiny. You can speak your destiny into reality. You can speak your future into manifestation. You can speak your success and it will be happening for you. The psalmist said the lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. The lines are falling for me. Which means, I want you to hear this, words create opportunities. Your word creates your opportunity or your word creates your difficulty. Your word creates your miracle or your word creates your obstacle. Your word creates your success or your word creates your failure. Hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. Hear me? People may not give you chance, but your mouth will give you your chance. People may not wish you well, but what are you wishing yourself? I don't need your wish to reach where God has in mind for me. Why? Your wish may not be in my favor. But I need his will to assess my blessing. If you have 100 persons here, don't expect 25 persons, 25 persons to wish you well. I don't need your wish to assess my future. I only need his good will and which I already have. Scripture told us again, we have a more sure word of prophecy. Hear me? The psalmist said, the things written concerning me, they are great. If the word is sure, your destiny is sure. I say, if the word is sure, your destiny is sure. If the word is sure, your success is sure. Amen. If the word is sure, your progress is sure. Amen. But you know, ignorance of the word can make you live depressed. Feel depressed. Thinking that your destiny in the hand of... Hear me? Your destiny is not in anybody's hand. Let me shock you. 
no mortal man can decide when you are blessed. Do you know why? My counsel shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasure. If God were to be consulting people before you rise, before you are blessed, I hope you know you are in trouble. Serious trouble. Because if they see your name in the list, <laughs> they may tear the list, number one, or number two. Since God is confused, he hears from people before he blesses. <laughs> Today, you sure? No give him more. If you give him, <laughs> we no go rest again. No? Eh? Okay, I will remove his name. Every good and perfect gift coming from above, from the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness, neither any shadow of what? I'm getting more excited. I'm getting more and more excited. Nothing advances destiny than the raw word God has given to you. Because inside this world is everything you are looking for. Inside the world. Inside the world is your estate. Somebody didn't catch it. Okay. Somebody is wondering, Pastor, is he in the Bible? Let's, let's open our scripture now. Go to John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word. Let's all read together in case you came with your Bible. In case you came with your touch phone. Open to John chapter 1. In case you came with your Bible or you came with your touch phone. Oh yeah, open, open, open. Open your Bible. Why are you looking at me? Oh, you want to read from the screen? Okay, let's read from the screen. Can you see the screen, everybody? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things. Pause. Pause. How many things? How many things? Including your own thing? All things, let's go now. All things we are made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Verse 4 In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Verse 5 And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness ended it not. Now let's read another scripture. So that somebody will now believe God. This pastor, I'm not too sure of him. No, let's read, let's read from the Bible. It's better when they see it in black and white. Colossians. Colossians chapter, is it chapter 1 or 2? For by him all things we are made. Verse 16. Let's read from Colossians 1 from verse 16. Let's read together now. For by him we are all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominion or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. The next verse now. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. Is it in your Bible? Underline it where. I want to let you know 
under God, you are not permitted to look for anything. You are not permitted to beg for anything. Everything you need has been provided by what? The word. In him was life. The word is in him and is the word. Now let's go back to John chapter 1. John chapter 1. Now read verse, let's take it from verse 12. But as many as received him, let's read together. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Verse 13 now. Which we are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Verse 14 now. And the word was made flesh and dwell among us. And the word was done what? So every time the word is declared, it turns into reality. Should I ask you a question? In Genesis chapter 1, did God need Julius Bega to recreate the earth? Did God need PWD to redesign the road? I want you to answer me. Oh. Let there be light and there was light. Everything I need in destiny is existing. All I need is to speak. As soon as they hear of me, they shall submit themselves unto me. Your car is existing. You are not a believer. You know Pastor Kelechi? Not the Kelechi that was here. The one that was here. I repeat to Pastor Good. Now when he was, um, I think it should be Pastor Four, I'm worried then. When Pastor Jeremy was teaching how you can call what you want, guess what happened? He carried the blood. This blood was sprinkling. You go to one small space in front of his house. I call forth my car. My car must be parked here. I call forth my car. He didn't do it for one month. Oh. Just around one week and the following week. Somebody just came one day. God said, this car is no longer my own. It's now your own. Blue Jeep. For, I mean, a SUV. He asked the man, go and pray and hear well whether it's me or whether it's Pastor Jeremy. So the man, out of uh, confusion, left. He still came back troubled. He had to go and meet Pastor Jeremy. That is what God told me. Pastor Jeremy, thank God for my ogre. He's not a greedy pastor. He's not a colonial master. That will not say that no, no, it's me that the spirit was talking about. He <laughs> say, Who did God tell you? He say, Pastor, he said, Go now and give him the car. That was how the man went back and submitted the particulars. He has changed everything, the particulars, everything, and gave it to the young man. Everything you need in destiny, the spirit can move it. The spirit doesn't only move spiritually, it also moves physical things. So your destiny is loaded with blessing, but it can only be assessed 
with right words. Job 6 verse 25. How forcible are right words. In the last anniversary that uh, Pastor Bimide did, one of the striking words that came out, is it day one or day two? What you didn't say, you are not permitted to see. Life is not a coincidence. What you say is what you are bound to see. What you say. What you say. Hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. Them that love it shall do what? Eat the fruit thereof. What have you been saying? I read from Dr. Bill Winston that our mouth has an awesome power to make our destiny flourish. But when you reduce your mouth to talking chaff, gossiping, your destiny suffers more than the physical body. That's why I pity anyone that is using his mouth to say what he didn't know, what he's not sure, what he cannot stand for. You are killing your destiny fast. Your destiny is on the fast lane of quick destruction. Because that is what you needed to assess the blessing that will show in your own life. But you have reduced it to chaff. It doesn't even have the strength of a thread. You know thread? Sewing thread. It doesn't have strength of a thread. So when you understand that power of the word and the power of your mouth, hear me? You are good to go. I say you are good to go. I say you are good to go. Scripture says concerning Abraham, against hope, believed in hope, and gave glory to God. He collects those things that be not as though they are. He collects. He collects. He collects. He collects those things that be not as though both physical, spiritual, everything that your destiny required can be programmed by words. But rather, instead of programming their destiny for blessings, they are programming their destiny for confusion. Programming their destiny for disaster. You can use your mouth and buy blessing. You can also use your mouth and buy causes. I don't have. I don't understand. Nothing is working. You are giving the angels, the four winds of the spirit, to make sure that nothing works. Nobody wants to help me. Even if people are ordained to help you, they will stay far from you. Everybody is against me. The earth, it will even be against you. But hear me? You are made for the blessing. And the only way you can assess the blessing is to pattern. Tell your neighbor, pattern. Your words in line with the will of God. You were made for the blessing. Every day, not someday. So that you won't think now that uh, this message end up in, in only this evening prayer. Every day, I'm getting to the top. I'm leaving the floor. My story is changing for the better. Goodness and mercy will follow me. Everyone carrying my favor, they will not rest until they deliver. You must keep it. You must keep saying it. Opportunities that will announce me must come my way. People that have the information that I need to go to my top, they must look for me. You must keep saying it. 
the psalmist said, the lines are falling for me in pleasure. Blesses. Yay! I have a goodly heritage. Now, do you know the meaning of this? Do you know the meaning of this? Do you know the meaning of this? We only read it on Sunday. But if it really makes meaning to you, that is your gateway to my case is different. Every day, not only on Sunday, you carry it and you are blasting it. You know, there's a way you will read this thing, it will stick to your spirit. You may not need the paper. In the morning, you are, you are releasing it. I like the way Bishop Abiyah puts it. Whatever you want to see, declare to the atmosphere. Release it to the realms of the spirit. It must go and deliver. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper. If I hear you say there is no food in the house, I will, I will reject you. Whatever you want to see in your destiny, say it. What scripture says you shall have? Whatsoever. What is the meaning of whatsoever? Please put that scripture. I want you when you go back home, write the carry dictionary and look for the meaning of the word whatsoever. God is giving you blank check. Feel what you want to see. You have access to unlimited blessings. Access to unlimited progress. Access to unlimited success. If you are failing, you made a choice to fail. If you are succeeding, you also made a choice to do what? Succeed. Before you fail, you have received the venom for failure. Your words that will make you fail has already gone. You don't just suddenly fail. Before you fail, before you crash, you have already said it. So, the spirit of failure, oh, he has invited us, let's go and help him. You will, they will help you fail very well. If you want to succeed also, you have released the word. So, nobody is responsible if things are not working. You are responsible. Nobody is responsible. So, you can program your destiny. And when we talk about destiny, it is multifaceted. 360 degrees. You have a destiny of success. So, you must succeed. Now, should I tell you something? Words provoke conviction. And also, your conviction steers up action. You don't just say, I will be the head and go to sleep. You now begin to do the things that will make you look like the head. Act like the head. Walk like the head. So you don't only dream, you walk the dream. But before you walk the dream, energy, grace, might is released to move you in that direction. No wonder people that are succeeding, they talk success. They think success. They act success. Everything you say, you think and do, move you in the direction of what has been programmed. Everything you say, also draw. Say with me, draw. When you begin to aim high, you begin to draw people that will move you high. When you begin to say high, high things, you begin to draw opportunities, people that will help you go high. You have a destiny of progress. Every time you begin to talk progress, 
God begin to connect you with people that are on speed. Not people that will slow your destiny. If your destiny is on slow motion, check it. Your mouth bring them. Your mouth draw them. You have a destiny of abundance. Not a destiny of poverty. He has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Be made a cause for us. So that the blessings of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles through what? Faith. He has redeemed us from the cause of the law. That's why they say poverty is a mindset. As a man thinketh in his heart. You must live it. If you want to live in abundance, you think it. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be. I wish it. I want you to become it. Even as thy soul prospereth. So before I will make it a reality in your life, it must first of all exist in your mind. I, the Lord, will do nothing without your mind. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Should I tell you something? Even if you are faking being good and it's bad that it's in your heart, you can't survive with good people. Write it down. You'll be pushed out. It must first of all exist in your mind. Are you wrong saying that? Before you can conform. If not, you won't survive it. You have a destiny of abundance. Don't look lack. Don't think lack. Don't talk lack. You may not look like it now. But because you are thinking it, opportunities will be created. Very little. Very little. You are moving. You are changing level. But some people, I observe that to them is their right to think lack. Is their right to think pity. Don't they know that we are the poor in the church? Why are they not responding now? Is he a cause? Then cause you. Thinking lack is not a right. It's a sign that your salvation is not yet correct. Are you wrong saying now? He was made poor so that through his poverty we might become what? Rich. If you are not thinking rich, you can't survive here. Go to the place where they think poor. Are you wrong saying now? That's why people from the other side they call this place rich man church. If you like poverty, go to a poor man church. But we are not representing a poor God. We are representing the rich God. The possessor of the heavens and the earth. The one who said the cattle upon a thousand hill their mind. The silver is mine. The gold is mine. If we are to be hungry, I will not ask you for food. Hear me? Your salvation is not complete if you are poor. Write it down. Your salvation is not what? complete. If you are what? Poor. Is incomplete salvation you are carrying? So, you have a destiny of success. You have a destiny of progress. You have a destiny of abundance. You also have a destiny of marital success. It's not good for a man to be alone. I will make for him a helpmate. Who said it? Who said it? Who said it in and it come to pass when the Lord commanded it not? No, for God to say it, he has already programmed you for marital glory. Not for marital pity. And he said again, my counsel shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasure. So you must think marital glory. Now to let you know again that it is in the word of God, Isaiah 34, is it verse 16? Isaiah 34 verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the law and read. 
No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mates. For my mouth it hath commanded, and in spirit it shall gather them. I've commanded it, but your mouth will go and gather them. So if you are saying no brother is coming, now your mouth they kill you. Your mouth must call the brother. One sister in Rajoba, 1997, after Papa shared his revelation, she entered the room. My husband, come forth! She was just thundering the thing. The violent take it by force. Man, the brother appear. Oh. One brother just appear. I've not rested. The Holy Ghost impressed it in my heart. You are my wife. He didn't even tell her I want to propose to you. Will you marry me? He told her straight. Can we go and see pastor? To let you know I'm serious. Are you sure? He said, I want you to confirm. Go and pray. But the Holy Ghost told me, you are my wife. Go and pray. When you are finished praying, let's go and see pastor. This sister no waste time. She goes, say, pray waiting. What am I praying again? I've been praying since. But some that are forming, they are forming a jack. Poco. They say, give me time to pray. You did deceive yourself. All the prayer and fasting, midnight prayer, away, don't they bind, 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 bind. Now, brother, up here, I say you want to pray again. When your answer is before you. Well, there's still need for you to still check whether it's the right brother. Because some brothers are not answered prayers. Are you know what I'm saying now? Uh-huh. Because answered prayer must behave and conform with the word. Not be behaving as if you are a spirit, they follow him. I'm telling you the truth. Just like that sister in Abuja, that that brother was forming, he was begging her for money for a church card, and uh, uh, the sister told me, Sir, I respect you, I value you, but this brother is not my answered prayer. So I say, confirm. Now that you are sure what you are doing, please tell him with your mouth so that he will leave you alone. Now, sisters. You see now, they don't want to talk. Oh. They are forming spirit. Okay, brothers. Good. Now, if you see your answer prayer, will you know Will you know? You say how? God does not operate guesswork. God is a God of the specifics. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? He's a God of the specific. If you are desiring something, if the thing comes, you will know whether this is the thing. It's not a, I can manage it. You can't manage it. You are in trouble. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So, you have a destiny of marital glory. Now, hear me. Marriage is God's institution, not family suggestion. Not uncle's suggestion, not brother's suggestion, not in-law's suggestion. If marriage is God's institution, it is God that drops the blessing. But he needs you, tell your neighbor he needs you, to be speaking the word that will be dropping the blessing. Do you know something? Some family are in lack. Some family are in the disarray. Do you know why? The peace of the family, they have scattered it with their mouth. Husband doesn't know how to talk. 
wife jagba jagba the mouth sharp past rosa blade hear me if your home will be glorious do like this everybody do like this you see this thing James call it tongues of fire you can set your house on fire you can also make your house to become a peaceable habitation So with your words, blessings. Now scripture even told us in Deuteronomy 28 that he commands his blessings into our storehouses. But some people have used their mouth to drive blessing away from the storehouse. Can we see that scripture? Check Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. The Lord shall cause thy enemy that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Check the next verse now. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. You, you get one small kubiku. And yet, you know, allow blessings that you are driving it away. But what scripture says what? And in that thou seest thy hand unto, and it shall bless in the land in which the Lord thy God giveth thee. I like the way Dr. Crefordola puts it. He said that storehouses means different bank accounts. He said, apart from the physical storehouse where you keep tomatoes, yam, rice, storehouses. Is somebody seeing something there? So your account is not permitted to be dry. I say it's not permitted to be dry. Supply will be flowing from you from every quarter. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Now look at this. He daily load us with benefits. What is benefits? Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all of his what? What is benefit? Wait. I want us to understand it in a language that will be easier to assess. Now, if you are working in an office, apart from your salary, there are other benefits. Am I saying the truth? Some have car allowance. Some have fuel allowance. Some have tie allowance. Some have sitting allowance. Oh, you don't know? Some have overtime allowance. Some have tea allowance. Some even have biscuit allowance. Those are the things we call benefits. Now, by privilege of redemption, your benefit talks about your heritage. Your heritage is not what you work for, but something that accrued to you because you belong there. Are you understanding it now? So if you are living without those things, ignorance denied you of them. Benefits. Benefits. There is air condition allowance. Oh, yes. In some office, there is air condition allowance. You may not like it, but they must put it on. But for, for them to put it on and discomfort you, they must pay for it. Benefit. He daily load us with benefit. One of the benefits you must live with every day is favor. You have a benefit of favor. You have a benefit of goodness and mercy. You have a benefit of you shall go bless and return back bless. Amen. That's why you must not come back with bad news. You must not come back with empty hand. Say with me, benefit. Amen. So every day, you must be declaring it. It's your right. You must be declaring it. You have a benefit of long life. Amen. You must be declaring it. 
So your mouth draw. Tell your neighbor, draw. draw. The blessing. You must keep drawing the blessing. You must keep drawing the blessing. There is a spiritual correlation between your faith and the blessing. We have in the same spirit of faith. We believe, therefore we speak. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. Don't ask me how it will come to pass. Ask God. The wind bloweth where it listed. You don't know where it's coming from. Neither where it's going to. The only thing you are seeing is the effect. Now, should I tell you something? Do you know why this church cannot go down? Do you know why? Do you know why? Where there is no vision, the people perish. But where there is vision, the people flourish. Should I tell you something? Whatever I want to see take place in this church, I'll be firing it from this altar and God will be sanctioning it. I'll be firing it from the altar. I'll be, as I'm releasing it, the angels must confirm it. The destiny of the church is also tied to the blessings released on the people. No wonder Papa said, most of the people that came here, they didn't come here rich. They came here beaten and battered. But by the reason of the word, they were all transformed. Likewise for your individual life. If you don't say it, God has nothing to confirm for you. That's why I said, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. I will do. I will do. You can program your destiny to unlimited success. Enviable progress. Don't just sit in that shop and be feeling pitied that if this brother has helped you, this way I will have reached. No lie. The word is your help. Send help unto me, for vain is the help of man. Hear me? Anybody can change, but this word abides forever. And as long as this word abides, you can assess your glorious destiny. You can assess your glorious future. Do you know what? Maybe one of these is I need to bring out one of my diaries. Last year, my other brother, he said, I've collected all just your old diaries. I said, what do you want to do with them? He said, some years back, you were writing things that were unimaginable, which you were even shadow of. But we have looked at them one by one, line by line. All of them have come to pass. So anything you say now, we don't doubt you. So I want to start applying them into my life so that I will not live like a misfit in destiny. He said that to me. So you are responsible for where you are. If nothing is working, you kept yourself there. If nothing is working in your life, in your destiny, you kept yourself there. If nothing is working in your business, you are responsible. Bishop Abue said, whatever you want, declare it to the atmosphere. It's a rule for the spirit. Hear me? You may not have the job that you look like, but you can call the job you, look, you desire. You can call the money you want. Hey, yes! You can call it. You can call the kind of money you want to see. Nobody can give it to you, but there is one that cannot withhold it from you. His name is called El Shaddai. His name is called the all-sufficient God. He said, withhold no good from whom it is due, when it is in thy power of thy hand to do what? Act. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come back tomorrow, when you have it right there with you. No wonder, when God needed to transform Abraham, he has blessed him, but he has not seen it. He said, Abraham, come. I want to change your thinking. Look up. What can you see? He said, I see stars. They are, too, they are too much. I can't count them. He said, as far as you can't count them, that's how your children, children will be. 
He carried him again. He said, look not south, east, west. He said, as far as your eyes can see. He said, so shall I do what? Give unto thee. As far as your eyes can do what? See. Tell your neighbor, see. Nobody will see for you. Are you know what I'm saying now? Huh? Anything you are seeing, you are seeing for yourself. I'm telling you the truth. If you are seeing wrong for me, you are seeing for yourself. Because what you are seeing is what will happen in your own life. No, it's not in my own picture. It's not in my own picture. That's why scripture... <laughs> I can't forget the way uh, Joel Austin tear the scripture. As a man thinketh in his heart. You can be seeing bad around me now. You are the one living the bad. Because the bad you are seeing now your heart is inside your heart now you day. Not in my own heart. We used to have one brother. He was always seeing other brothers as fornicators. Before we graduated, he don't sleep with two sisters. I tell him, that thing you keep seeing in other people has happened to you. That thing you, are, you keep seeing in other people, Satan has made it happen for you. Because the thing is in you. So keep seeing. The more you keep seeing bad for people, that's how bad your life will just be revolving around bad wickedness. It will, leave, it, will, it will tie you up and strangulate your destiny. As a man thinketh in his heart. In whose heart is it? In his heart. It's not in my, it's in your heart. So it must come to pass in your own life. It's not in my heart. What is in my heart is what God will confirm. But you know, Jesus concluded it out of the abundance of their heart. Should I tell you something? Your business can grow beyond what it is. Your business can flourish beyond what it is. Should I tell you something? Doors can open for you in impossible places. Is it in the scripture? Thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. It means in strange places, doors can open for you. Oh, for with man, it is impossible. But for with God, all things are possible. When Ora Robert caught the vision of building Ora Robert University, he no get $1,000. What he only had was picture of what God showed. I think I'm going to preach on the floodgate of blessings very soon. Now, God told him, that thing you are seeing, begin to declare it. At first, it didn't make sense. But later, it makes sense. Tell your neighbor, it makes sense. It makes sense. What we are saying now look like um, confusion to some people. But that is the rule for supernatural living. If your destiny must flourish, hear me, you must operate this rule. You must do what? You must operate this rule. You must operate this rule. Now, immediately he carried that picture and began to declare it. The law of attraction came to play. He was now attracting. He got to the point that he, has, he will be declaring, one man watched him on TV, was smoking his, um, what do they call that, uh, cigar. Not the normal cigar, that big one that looked like a... Uh, it's not Igbo, Igbo is a uh, paper. The man called him, I don't know you, I don't like you, but God said I should give you this money. I don't know you. I don't like you. But God said I should give you this money. Which God? Ask me, which God? The money was forced out of his hand because there was a power that came upon him. Hear me? Your destiny will be sweet. Anything you want to see in this life, 
you will see them. I said you will see them. If you don't declare it, God has nothing to confirm. Rise up to your feet. Can you now see now you can program anything in your destiny? Now likewise, before we pray, anything you don't want in your destiny, you can also deprogram them. Yes. You can also do what? Life is deprogramming to program. How do I know? Jesus said, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted shall be what? So you are going to uproot now. You will uproot failure. You will uproot stagnation. You will uproot bad markets. You will uproot misfortune. You will uproot lack. You will uproot stagnation. You will uproot frustration. And the things you want to see, you begin to call them in the name of Jesus Christ. You have some minutes to pray this prayer right now. But the real prayer, that one will follow you at home. Leo Ricando, Jekuke pray. Studio, put the prayer now. Whatever is afflicting, studio, correct it. Whatever is afflicting my glorious destiny, I command you to be uprooted now. Whatever is afflicting my glorious future, whatever is afflicting my success, be uprooted now. Whatever is afflicting my destiny of success, be uprooted now. Whatever is afflicting my destiny of abundance, be uprooted now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be uprooted. Every planting of the wicked, every planting of the enemy, every planting of witchcraft, every planting of occultic power, be uprooted by fire. In the name of Jesus, make a utaka pede luzo. Nerushi and Kakarato. Lift up your voice and pray. Uproot ever whatever God has not planted. Anything that is discomforting your destiny. Anything that is making your destiny not to be at ease. Let God hear your voice. Laho, Jiko Preke, Pratona, Sizonania, Neko Kepreketo Zizosia. Programming of wickedness. Limiting my flourishing. Limiting my breakthrough in destiny. Be terminated by fire. Every programming of the wicked. To limit my destiny from flourishing. To limit my breakthrough in destiny. I command. Be terminated. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be terminated. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Aspire by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice. Begin to declare every programming of wicked, of the wicked, to disfigure, to limit, to hinder my flourishing destiny, my breakthrough in destiny. I terminate you by fire. I terminate the works. I terminate your oppressions of the enemy. Perodo sutapa, beyate, nasuzo nono. And kakarate kush rezo sakapra and prepare yagogo jekukeleke e kakoko preke rezo zana gaga 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 gaga. I prophesy from today my destiny reject evil cancer, reject evil manipulation, reject every manipulation of the wicked. I prophesy from today my destiny. Disobey evil voices. Disobey enchantments. Disobey divination. Disobey sorcery. Their cancer will not come to pass in my life. Frustrates their divination. Frustrates their altar. Perano sutanana. En kakarate. Jukuke preki. In soroto. En garaga. Jerosia gagagagagaga. My destiny. In the name of Jesus, enjoy the fullness of favor. Enjoy the fullness of God's grace. Enjoy the fullness of God's mercy. In the name of Jesus, my destiny, you are not permitted to be limited. You are not permitted to be stagnated. You are not permitted to suffer slow motion. You are not permitted to be disappointed. Flourish with the grace of God. 
flourish with the plans of God. The lines will fall for me in pleasant places. Yea, I have goodly heritage. Declare it. Declare what you want to see. My destiny in the name of Jesus flourish like the palm tree, grow like the seed of Lebanon, succeed without limits, be blessed beyond measure, be satisfied with good things. Leko ragadano zeruninia and paparanus in crope la sute and rato nakoteko jisu lekiku and kraka rakate koko any power delay my helper break my fire any power delay my helpers break my fire break my fire any power delay my helpers contending with my helpers scatter by fire reshiangaros empregadoros lekozizo Ragadagede. Oh, four winds of the spirit blowing opportunities that will announce and move me forward. Oh, four winds of the spirit blowing opportunities that will announce and move me forward. Oh, four winds of the spirit blowing opportunities that will announce and move me forward. Rezonakreki, Jekoke Prekito. In Suzalia, Jekokakaka, Raketope, in Sonodo, Raketoria, Jekuka Preke, Raso Zekote, Mekakadi, Jekukulu, and Rakeko, Junutia, and Prodia, Zekukeriata, Jekokala, Perado Sata, in Kakareto, Jinondiare, Segolarata. My destiny flourish like the palm tree, grow like the cedar of Lebanon, make progress on every side, and breaking forth on every side, succeeding on every side, flourishing on every side, making progress on every side. I will enjoy peace, I will enjoy the flow of God's blessing. I will not lack, I will not beg bread, I will not suffer stagnation. I will not suffer limitation. Lekotopro in Karado Sutu Jekukalia. My hands will not beg bread. My hands will be satisfied with the abundance of heaven. My feet will be dipped in oil. In the name of Jesus. My feet will bring me before great places. My feet will bring me before great men. Lift up your voice. Declare what you want to see. Nekarade Sito, Mpepe, Dekuka, Peyakoto, Jekuteto, Nadieki, Zekolata, and Ragagaga, Jekoloborodos. I will not underachieve. I will superachieve. My hands will succeed. Whatever I lay my hands to do must prosper. My business will flourish. My business will be announced in nations. My business will take over nations. I will dominate my territory. I will dominate my war. Nothing good will fail in my heart. In the name of Jesus. Nothing good will fail in my heart. Every of my business. They will flourish. They will achieve great heights this year. They will achieve great success this year. New wave of helpers will locate me this year. New wave of helpers will locate me this year. My bank accounts will not run dry. My storehouse will not run dry. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. My, my marriage will flourish. My children, they will become superstar. They will excel. They will be the head and not the tail. They will succeed. They will be the head and not the tail. They will be above only. They will not be beneath. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. Rezuzo, Nakerekoto, Enzagalaga, Shekukapreke, Enproporia, Genoriaketo, Enzagalata. Thank you.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. You now see that you, you have work to do. <laughs> if you stop saying, God will stop doing. <laughs> you program today. This night, still program again. Tomorrow, continue another one. <laughs> the more you are firing it, so mightily grew the world. And do what? Your destiny never prevail with shallow word. It must grow. You keep firing it. As you are saying it, it's growing. So mightily grew the word and prevail. You prevail everywhere you go. Because you have saturated the spiritual atmosphere with the word. So God is working. God has nothing to work if you have nothing to say. God has nothing to perform. If you have nothing to declare. He said declare now. That thou mightest be what? Justify. It's what you are declaring. You will be clearing. If you are not declaring anything. You will not clear anything. As you partake of this communion. Your destiny. Reprogram. For glory. Your destiny. Reprogram for favor. Your destiny. Reprogram for unlimited success. Your destiny will be reprogrammed for unlimited fruitfulness. Amen. I prophesy any witch or wizard, any evil man contending with your glorious destiny, I command them to aspire. Amen. Any wicked man or woman assigned to make sure that destiny fails in your hand, let them enter wilderness. Amen. Let them enter wilderness. I command the angels of God to pursue them into destruction. The evil they want to see for you, the evil they want to see take place in your life, I command the angels of God to push them into that destruction. So shall it be. Any arrow fire to scatter your destiny, let the arrow go back to the center. Your life will not fulfill negative prophecy. Your life will not fulfill shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus name we pray. Spiritually. You will know that the world is working. You will know that the world. If Satan. If you don't know how to go to native daughter. Go and look for another one. But I will run you out of the world. Your destiny you must fulfill it. Those days. When children are fighting and you cry and come back, what do your parents do? Come and go back, go and do with him very well. By the time they send you that one, so they come. Three of us. We used to witness those things. But I didn't see all those kind of ones. My own, I was commander in the barrack. If the fight fails, I must appear. I remember when we used to live in Harbour Barak in Portaco those days. If I don't break your head, the fight is not complete. Somebody's head must break before the fight go end. And you know, I, I know I have grace to stone like David. <laughs> don't go and stone anybody. Oh. <laughs> Praise God. I want to tell you now, you must win. I say you must win. I say it again. That blessing must be confirmed in your life. Any witch that vowed that you will die, you will bury the witch early. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. As you partake of this communion, whatever is not working well before now, they will start to work well. Any door the enemy has tampered with in your life, I decree by this communion that door is declared open. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, even the wind, even the air, we clear way for your destiny. Amen. Whatever is fighting your destiny naturally, 
I decree by the blood, let them expire in the name of Jesus. Every oppression of witchcraft, occultic powers, manipulating issue in your life and destiny, by the blood, let them expire in the name of Jesus. Whatever instruction the earth has received to fight your life, fight your destiny, today, let them go back to the center. So shall it be. From today, your destiny will attract favor. Your destiny will attract helpers. Your destiny will attract open doors. Your destiny will attract progress. Your destiny will attract supplies. In the name of Jesus, say amen like a believer. As you sprinkle the blood in your house, within your neighborhood, whatever is fighting you mysteriously, let them expire mysteriously. Whoever, physically, any man or woman that has received a mandate from Satan to fight your life, I command speedy vengeance upon their head. The plan they have marked out for you, I decree by the blood of sprinkling, let them be victims of their own evil plan. Say amen like a believer. You will not see shame. You will go from strength to strength. From glory to glory. From progress to progress. From success to success. From abundance to abundance. From lifting to lifting. From rejoicing to rejoicing. From laughter to laughter. Say amen like thunder. So shall it be. In Jesus name we pray. See you declaring it. My helpers are on the way. And I'm locating more and more helpers. That, we give, that is giving my life speed. May you attract helpers. The only thing that I cannot do for you. I'm not with you when you are talking rubbish. You need to help your mouth. So that God can help you. Anything you know. That will not profit you. That you don't know. Don't say. Don't say. I will not beg you to say because I will not be there with you. But I wish that you only be saying right things so that you'll be seeing right things. It shall be well with you. Don't forget tomorrow is the last evangelism message shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so.